Als zij weeg. Hoi. Ik kan niet zeggen dat zij het zo veel. Hecht en Griezmann. We maken een tape. Ik maak een kopie van het. En een aan jou en een aan jou. De eerste zaak is. Was herz auf Daten. Die erste Sache ist, ich will geben, was ich geschehen da Sukis. Nach so bis Sukis habe ich halt geschrieben. Aber, äh, as you know, äh, you'd give me a tisch rei, was Sunday, da habe ich gefahren zum Mail, when he came back from the world, da war an der Table, a whole, äh, a ganze Table mit das Regen. And noch then he rested a while, noch then he rested a while, noch then he was going to the radio, noch then he went to the and then he went home. Next the talk is coming, then he was at Terra, and noch then he gave in, he gave in, he was at Terra, and after that he, um, <coughs> he took the Lulavan from the Tritsky and from Lebo Raskin and from all time, like everything. Then he gave it, then he got the rubbish and the dust and everything. And this time they put it on two tables. They went around picking out. And the rabbi, and the rabbi asked him, and they, they went out and picking out. They went in to pick out. That is that. They went around to pick out the uh, things. <clears throat> Once it was over, He said, how come this left a Ravis and a Dasim? He said, uh, did everybody get so grown? I said, yes. He said, let me see Hiroshima. Let me check up everything. Checked up. Are you sure? Yeah, then he went into his room. Then he called them Grown and Rask, uh, Klein and Krinsky. He gave them love and a Dasim. Then he called them Raskin to get for uh, to pin the little for his wife. Then he called in Katz went in. And Schmelin got to a Dasim. I think, I don't remember if Friedman got or didn't get to on that Friedman. That was that. Then he went home. Then he was in the room. Then he went out to the sukkah about 20 after 4. And he came back. He told me on the way I left your dasim on the table. And he went home. And he went to, and then he was in his room. Then he went to the library because he was still yantav in the library. And that was it. The first night after my after was a sikhah for that, you know. Then he went into his room, then he went into the Ikhnas HaSacham, there was a Sikha that all you know already. The next morning he came from the library between 25 and 20 to 8, and he went into his room, to the Sukkah, and uh, that was that. <clears throat> When I went into the Sukkah, he was holding a Chumash. And then I brought him just in time, and then the second time, When I came, then I took it out after uh, the davening. Then when I came in about a quarter after two, he was looking up, you know, swelling what guy said in before Yontiv. And about five minutes after I uh, went out, he went to the library, he came back far enough. And the whole time probably heard when they clapped, the whole Yontiv, he didn't turn around to clap. He just made a few times with his hand and that was it. Then that was the first day, Mincha was regular, and uh, Marav was regular, then there was a Sikha after Marav, and then then he went to, back to the library about after nine, and the next day he came about a quarter after eight. They danced a little bit on Kingston, but not too much the first and second night. And then... Is Alex Talman for Bengalus and one sukkah and my sukkah was pretty happy the first night. Raskin was there, other guys was a pat sukkah, and uh, Nachman was there, and then the second night guys were doing it. All uh, right, was all right. I guys start paying the bills for everything. That was that. And then the next day, the second day, uh, he also held the chumash when I went in, and then I ended early about five to two. Also a few minutes later, he went home. And then there was, he came back almost the same time, before Mincha a little bit, and there was Marev downstairs, and after that, we only asked him for microsounds, he said it was for Avdallah, and he spoke a sikh, and then he went home. And then they had a little music and dancing, that probably you heard. Thursday came like always, Cholomite, 10 to 9, 
and he gave out the Essek, but I went in and he was holding the Kesa Shemtov and the Magad of Yankiv. And then, you know, the guys, one, one guy grabbed it and he hit it a little bit, and the second guy hit it more, and the third guy, till the fourth guy broke it off. And the uh, groaner went into the Rebbe. What did I send him in with the good news? And he, and a few minutes later, he came out. He said the Rebbe didn't get mad and gave him another Essek, and people continued benching. No, that happened. The second day, Yantif. And uh, that happened the second day, Yantif. And the, the second day, Yantif. And then Thursday, he went into his room again. Uh, after the Dabna guy gave him to him. Then after he, after I finished Dab, after I finished with the Lulith, about one thirty, a quarter to two, he went into his room. He came out, and he was, and he went into his uh, into the sukkah. And he bound over the lulav, changed the lulav, and he bound over with the dasim and all of us. Thursday, Friday, Friday, he came the same time. He was holding a chumash, and everything was the same. But he went into the sukkah. Also about two, and then he was Megiyah something in the sukkah, the bracha, so while he was there about an hour, and two to three, then they thought there was mincha, but there was no mincha, and he went home. Friday. It was Friday, and uh, Friday night he said a sikha also, he went home, and Shabbos morning he came, about 9.30, 20 to 10, and then after the dawn he said he's going to write to the sukkah, so... We prepared the food, ground and meat, some fish, and some, don't tell anybody, some kugel and some meat, a uh, kugel and meat, and some fruit, and then we got Zevi Sishtay Tachshabes and Mechatees on honey. The ground arrested him, and he said, okay, he would prepare honey, and this was it. He went in about 10 to 1, and he was there till after 2. After 2, when he went out, there was a fight in the sukkah, there was about food or what, he was screaming at us, he went to give a look a second. Then he went in his room. That was Mincha, like always. And then Mara, then he went in again and he ate a piece of cake and some tea and fruit. And Mara, if he went home, and Mara, if there was, then there was the Sikha, and then he went home. Master Shah was very lively already. Everybody was there. There was a big band of music with tables, with mashke, with this, with that. It was lively. We drank and this hook and that hook. We drove Zella Thoma crazy. That was Saturday night. Sunday came regular time, he was looking in a chumash, and Sunday, uh, when I brought him back the lulav, he bound it over again, and uh, and um, then he went home after Mincha, and then he came back, and Marev was 9.30, after Marev was a sikh, and after the sikh, he said he's going into the sukkah, prepared him something, took in a ticket, and went to the sukkah. Tillum was like always, and right after Tillum, he went home. But the same ticket, he brought it back the next morning. The next morning, Shana Rabbe, he came in the morning, and after that, he went home. After that, he was sukkah, and he was saying for Kabanus, and he had on the table a homish, and then, and then I brought him already, he was waiting. Guys were fighting with me. He was waiting for the answer to the Lulu. Then that all finished. Then I went and t- took it. Like this, he said, give it to the kids and the women. He didn't say anything this time. And there was a very, very big line of Lekech. About a quarter after 12, he went out to Lekech. <coughs> and uh, in, in 25 after 3, he finished. Uh, <coughs> after 3, he finished. So he asked me when it's a half not today. So now it's a half no play. Ah, he made he gave me a say ah. And all the women went, what do you know what went on here? Women and kids and girls from the chat. Well, this is all taken care of. <laughs> this is all taken care of. And then he went out to the suk uh, then but this is has to be top secret. Looks if anybody ever finds that I'll get killed. Used to. And Don Gladman Libra tells me he is used to. He should call on Stuhl, but it's a dot, you know, Safatic test and come to Yetzahim. 
So, meanwhile, I prepared him something to drink in the sukkah, and then he had a say from a modern talk to involve and talk about a coffee, he spoke about the mime. Then he went into the... <coughs> he went into the... Um, <coughs> it was there a while, and he came. When I opened, when he opened up the door, there was a few more people for liquor. The girl who told him that his wife still was being finished for a half an hour and 35 minutes. He tried to call out the doctor from his young man to bring party. The business ended up telling him like him from Dab in the middle, he only just in time. He did that and then he went home. Came back, there were some more people for like This was it. Then and then at Gehis Mahis of Nach Mincha when there is uh when there's Mincha when there's Maya when there's a coffee. And he came down to Minit Sarasak, he didn't turn around. He just he did he did turn around and he danced and this and that. Some Khastara and uh, he turned around and uh, since Lama Tres, he well, used to go make Kiddush and then go down to the office. But this time he didn't. This time he didn't. He was in his room. Nine o'clock he came down. There was a coffee, like everything. When it came to the fifth, the coffee turned to quiet. And he spoke, that you heard. He was safe in by the sixth. And uh, the dancing was like always. The shot stopped, continued, stopped, continued. That must have you all heard already. And then he went into the library. And making his hand still inside. The guys were drinking and dancing a little bit, but, you know, broke up pretty quick. The next morning, Shemini Tzels in the morning, he came in time. He turned around to dance a little bit. And uh, that was uh, Shemini Tzels. And then the davening was like always. And about, uh, to about uh, 1 30, according to the went into the library, came back from Farnach. And it's the haste and also from the crown he told to call up and that and the seder. And after he finished that he went downstairs. He, yeah, he done Mincha downstairs, and after Mincha he had the haste noise called from Vences and Marif and the Fabrengen and Marif and the Seder. Then he was in his room and then there was another thing. Uh, and then there was his room, I'll tell you something. Then Myrof was downstairs. And this is the first time what I remember from all the 32 years that he was a rabbi, that they shouldn't clap, he shouldn't turn around and dance. The first years, but the only time he clapped and turned around to dance was some Chostar at night before Myrof. Later years, he started some Chostar in the morning, then Shemini Atzerah, then all the other times. But that was the first thing he didn't do it. He just made a few times with his hand, and not Myrof, then he came upstairs. And my kiddish, and he didn't go to my kiddish. Remained in the sukkah. Now, in middle of sukkah uh, before sukkah, so middle of sukkah so is the middle not the kind of I mentioned. Finish eating uh, early in the afternoon, early in the morning, two three o'clock, and then you go to shul. Then you had some cakes so until three four o'clock in the morning. You start. So he collected money for big kiddish, and he rented tables on his park in this with, with fish and fruit and cake and soda. So yes, the rabbi, if he is doing it, the rabbi should make a bigger break between the coffers, the fabric and the coffers. So Groner went in and he said, it's a sign of Kiddush and Dresden. So the, the rabbi said, the Ashtar Zacher is with the Shus with the police. So Groner said, yes. He said, the Tzvet is a Kiddush, Kiddush macht man the hum from the fabric. Groner said, man, but it's not sure from Kiddush, but it's all for Azari, a Stava, on by Snappy Sessions. He said, Azari is a mask, him and Tavartan. So the finished 11.30, 25 to 12, and a quarter after 12, he came out to our coffee. So maybe because he said Kiddush is downstairs, basically, the Cholay from Atten's Gemaka Kiddush in his room, he made Kiddush downstairs. Then the Fabrengen was over 25 to 12, came out a quarter after 12, and all these things. Now by a coffee, he had gave the first night, he asked, he told Kazadovsky to come on the beamer, he told the uncle, he looked for Yankel Katz, but the Hasten and Zung, uh, he told him uh, to give him an account for what's his name, Meshe Minsberg from Yerushalayim. The Rabbi the Gaisen, the Rabbonim Gain, so Kazanovsky and the son will go and say, I don't know, so he told him, is a Dab Gain, but this is Mishka Spicha, it's of Rabbonis. And this is Kasmichas of Rabbanas. What's not again? And the second night, 
spoke a little to the policeman, they could drink off duty and thank him for taking care. Outside, the three policemen came in with cheer, grown as friend. That is that. The second night, I don't think he told anybody to say any, to give anything. In the morning, and then uh, the coffers was over about two o'clock, quarter to two, two, or after two. Then he went right to the library, came the next day about uh, two quarter to ten, ten to ten. <laughs> this time you heard he screamed the Lloyd Gullis three times. First the Jantif, then the Lloyd Gullis, the second night just the Jantif. When Hula Kano, he started up both nights, I think, when he went out. And uh, what else happened over there? Then he was sitting in his, uh, then he went out, uh, then he, that was at night, then uh, he finished about 1.30, quarter to two. The davening, then he went to Zoom, then the davening, then was a quarter after five, and the quarter after five to six, he came down, the forbidden probably you heard. And then after that, it started at 11.30, he went over Schmel, uh, Elberg and Schmel and pulled him. Then he went out, and then the rabbi davened. A bench and gave men took away all the challah and everything and then <coughs> he went he went uh, into his uh, gave away the challah then there was Mara from Avdala and Kasha Bracha and before that they asked the Rabbi Tzivis Hashem could play with, do with the band of music uh, with the choir so the Rabbi said yes so they came and they played songs and they made but then when they finished the kids uh, singing they were they all went over to say Chaim and then the Piamenta brothers went, so the Rebbe asked him, are you going home? So he said, no, we're going to be Mamshel. So then he said that they should call back the kids. And after uh, he finished all the Kasha Bacha, he sang uh, uh, two, three songs with him, made the hands, and he walked out. And that was that. Bechol Eifim, the Mitzvah and everything, grown asked a few times when there's going to be a Chitas. The Rebbe didn't, didn't answer him. He asked him once, he asked him twice, he asked him three times, and the Rebbe didn't answer him. After all that, he didn't answer him, and he told him just Sunday he's going to the hell, and he doesn't think, uh, Thursday and Friday this. Some people get nervous and this and that, there'll be Friday, you hear this, there'll be once a Shabbos, you hear this, Sunday afternoon, you hear this, grown and he didn't answer him. What's a Shabbos? Thursday morning, he came, the clear was regular. Some people were leaving already, he told them good and fun, wasn't they? And then 10.30, Dr. Weiss went in. And then Shemta went in and gave him to our lovers. Then I went in. And he gave me a big smile. And I said, Grace, you should care. Grace, and Grace, you should care. But this also, you don't have to tell anybody. And a big smile, and a bracha, and b'cholay. And then he went to the mikra. Then he came back and he went to the ale and he came back, found Nacht, and you know, the um, first part of was supposed to be by 30, but 8, eight o'clock he done my and then he and went home. That was Thursday, Friday was Friday, it was a regular day, and the guys were going more nuts, and Shams, you heard the Fabrinian. And Sunday, people in the morning, he came to all the people who were, who were leaving. He gave him a dollar and said, the phone was in the head. <clears throat> and then there was a younger guy from London here. It was the first time here. He figured it would be a Thursday night or Sunday or Rahula uh, Rahula. So he uh, came with a lot of people. So he wrote to me that he's sorry that he has to leave and he wasn't in Yechidah. So the so the Rabbi said, Kva HaYisu become a Yisvadism. Then he gave up the Mincha again dollars, told the people who were leaving, and then he went home, and he came back, and the mark was a quarter to seven, then they started Yechidison, and after, in the first group went in, so the Rebbe said that uh, they should just go in groups, so I got excited, and this, that, the whole different. And one group went after the other, and there was, was till about a quarter after twelve. And it came the old man Hans, and he didn't want to go in a group, so he said, "That's a nishchal of him." The zachel said, "Grown and said he said if Eric the best man to spare." The thing was, and then he was there about a half an hour. And the wife waited a few minutes himself, and glick, and that was it.
When he went home, the Nachshim bought a new tank and he made with his hand, the Nachshim made back with his hand. Everybody's happy. That was that. And then it's a good, oh my God, that was quarter to 12 in the afternoon. That was that. And suddenly, and Chet, Priya Grona called over to Gnade Natach, Mendel Futtavak, Nochem Trevnik, Hanzin, Leibov, Madanchik, Haifa, and Zusha Lamovsky. And then he went out, Grona, and he told them like this, maybe it's, it's, it's now it's supposed to be top secret, that they should see to make a safer terror for Chayelay Tzal. And how to do it, they should figure out, see Midgel, Dungel, that we're going to take money, it's, you know, uh, safe, and this is about $25,000, $30,000, with a publicity with printing, I don't know, or more. And the Harris Soldiers is no thing to have a secret, figure it out. Then... Trebek wrote in that the Vad in Kvar is a Shvach Vad, and they, you know, and people are going to say that they should make new elections. If he died there, they shouldn't make elections, but maybe it's strong in the Vad. So the Rebbe gave him an answer, he carried out for him, you know, when he was there, and he gave it to him. He told him that if he died, there shouldn't be elections. He said, the Rebbe is on the Paschal, and the Rebbe is on mentioned this, they should put it in there. And last night, there was a few groups in, you know, that he got, a, uh, that was Monday night, and the rabbit told Groner that if he would have known there's so many groups, he would have gone downstairs and everybody should give the tzatla, give a bochum, take the dollars, and that's it at one time. Then the bochum talk, he told them all to come, there's 170 bochum, all, all the bochum from the kruze, and all the bochum were left, and some bochum went over, or I think pitch penny someplace, and, uh, he took first from everybody a settle, gave a bracha, then he took for everybody a, uh, he gave everybody a dollar. And that was it, and some people didn't make it, I don't know what it be, Dunan didn't show up yet, and Leibov, and all these people. That was that. The chas, I hope uh, everything will be okay, we hope to hear for you. They wish us help from the then it's only, it's less than six months left to Yudalus Nissen, and that's the situation. Was just starting to quiet down. Cats are still and grimmers and this. Today, the big crew to leave in. Guys bought calculators with uh, with the vice versa, with uh, electronic uh, games, with uh, telephones that you uh, you just reset the button, you could get the same number till it uh, answers if it's busy. And shortwave radios, slower vice they want That's the situation. And Tepnik is back home probably by now, and the other guys are leaving, and by another week or so, we'll be empty here. Be back to the old things. The guys are starting to move to the books a little bit. <laughs> Not too much. Oh, we forgot when they called out the Sefer Terrace, he said, Shukat uh, from Haifa Dot and Dot. It was a pleasure dealing with you two, and we hope to hear from you in the near future, and just in the near future to see you all guys, and Zuzak Nizumtehet, and Freilacherhet, and 770 Eastern Parkway, a few down with Nissen, we're renting big screens all over the parkway, and we hope to do something with the houses, a screen that Krinsky left, and we hope everything will work out. Goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord be with you, and come to